With these Pro Minute video series, Dr. Klee will share some of his secrets with you on how to become a better flutist. Hello, my name is Dr. David Klee and welcome to another Pro Minute. Today we're going to talk about soldered tone holes versus drawn tone holes. You're probably thinking, what, what, what kind of difference is that? Well, drawn tone holes are where when the metal tube has been rolled, you have a tube. While the metal is hot, they have a machine that, it, that it, uh, forces the holes to come out while the metal is hot and it forms what they call the little rim that the keypad sits on. That's called a tone hole. And that's called drawn tone holes. When while the metal is hot, they, they exude it coming out and they can actually make a tone hole that way. Now solder tone holes is where they make the tube and once they're done with the tube, the tube has cooled down, they drill the hole out to place the keys. And then what they do, they have, they've already made the little rims, which are made separately, and they actually set the rim on the flute and then they silver solder the, the, the rim on. And that's called a soldered tone hole. So what is the difference? The difference is mainly in sound. Uh, drawn tone hole flutes tend to be a little brighter. Soldered tone hole flutes tend to be a little darker in sound. In the old days, it was preferred to have soldered tone holes because they were better in tune because of the way the flutes were made. Nowadays, because of computer technology, it's not really all that true anymore. And I think you'll find there are some really great flute players who use flutes out there with drawn tone holes, and they sound, they sound just fine. So that's the big difference between the two flutes. The biggest difference is in price, obviously. Solder tone holes are going to cost a little bit more. So hopefully this is the tip for the day that will help you decide what, what, what will best fit and suit your particular need. This is Dr. David Clay. Thank you.